Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you've had a good weekend. It is the 20th of September, and we are now in Romans chapter 6, verse 6. And I'm excited to move forward into this because there is so much beauty that we get to unpack this week. Uh, This morning we're going to go from verse 6, as I said, so let me read it to you. We know. Do we know? Do we know? This is a question, and I think Paul is getting at that a little bit. Do we know this? We should know this, that our old self, you before Christ, you without Christ, was crucified, past tense, was crucified with him in order that, there it is again, the body of sin might be brought to nothing. And what that's talking about is your body that simply couldn't follow God, your mind that simply couldn't not think about those destructive things, or con- condemning yourself, or lust, or what have you. You could not bring your behavior to heal and follow the ways of God. That part of you has been brought to nothing. It's been tamed. Its power of rebellion, its slavery, as we're going to read right here, was neutered because your old self died at the cross. Your old self, the self that had sold itself into slavery in the first place. In order that, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. So, your old self was crucified so that your body of sin, (laughs) your body that would not be able to follow God and, and do what you want to do, that part was brought to nothing. It was robbed of its power to rebel so that you would be free from sin. But remember, the first two words I read to you, we know. And I just want to propose those to you this morning as a question. Do you know this? Do you know that your old self is gone? And that one of the miracles that has wrought is that you are no longer a slave to sin. Your body is freed to follow God. If you will reckon your old self dead, the the rebel that sold itself into slavery is dead now. So the writ of slavery that was held against you has been eradicated. You are now free to follow God. You are free to not sin. Are any of us going to pull that off perfectly? Probably not. But that's not the point. The point is that you can not rebel against God now. You can not be a slave to sin. I want to close with this little image from the 19th century in America. Um, The 13th Amendment to the Constitution abolished slavery in the United States. President Lincoln said of it, this is a great moral victory. And it was indeed a great moral victory, but that victory meant little to many in the South. Something happened that many would have never expected. The vast majority of slaves in the South were legally freed, but continued to live on as slaves. Most of them went right on living as though nothing had happened. Though free... They lived virtually unchanged lives throughout the Reconstruction period. And the slogan of the southern white population was, keep them ignorant. Now I share that with you this morning, this horror of slavery, to express another horror has come to an ending. 
your slavery to sin, to that which you weren't created for, to the false purpose, to the lie about why you live, the lie about why you're on this planet. And that lie is keeping you from your true purpose. That lie is keeping you from the very purpose for which you were created and for which God has intended from all creation to rescue you. Do you know that because your old self was crucified with Christ, the body of sin... was rendered neutered to nothing so that you would no longer be a slave to sin. That's something to get your head around. And I hope you spend the rest of today mulling on this. We'll see you guys in the morning. Let me just pray. Jesus, thank you for this victory, this great moral victory of rescuing us from our slavery to a life we were never meant to live and that the tool of slavery has been broken and we are free to follow you into your kind of life by your Holy Spirit and Lord we ask that you would give us an understanding and clarity about this and that we would begin to live from its truth toward our real lives even now in Jesus name Amen have a great day, guys. Bye.